this is Back to Dawn, an exciting RPG set in a maximum security prison populated by animals of every shape and size. Survive, explore, and escape. Along the way, you'll interact with a motley crew of interesting and unique characters. Be strong and be smart. It's not just yourself you're saving. It's the whole freaking city. Welcome everybody, Back to Dawn is what we're going to be taking a look today. This will be just a let's look at, because this is an upcoming game that will be coming out shortly in the near future of next year. 2023 is the planned release date for Back to Dawn, but I find this game kind of uh, intriguing and I want to, you know, show it off to maybe some people that haven't heard it of the game before. So here we are. If you guys want to see this game, come to the channel in the next next year in the future let me know by hitting the like button commenting down below say i really enjoyed this and subscribe if you are new and then let's go ahead and jump into uh back into dawn yeah who are you you can be fox thomas or you can be black panther bob thomas a journalist for woodpecker tv gets drawn into the city's shadowy underbelly while investigating a story bob an undercut undercover detective poses as a criminal and infiltrates the prison for a top secret mission interesting here looks like these people are you know these animals <laughs> black panther bob and fox thomas has some kind of traits to it i'm not sure looks like there looks looks like there's a um a, a third character who might be here when the game does release it says we have four con three strength uh, contact uh, confidence i don't know what that could be i, I don't know about contact <laughs> i'm thinking maybe confidence maybe um agility and then intelligence black panther bob seems the way to go right so yeah I'm not ready yet. Experience Thomas the Fox story first. Oh, right. I'm not ready for the Black Panther. Okay. So broadcast journal. After graduating from college, you joined a television station as an intern and soon find your way in front of the camera thanks to your good looks. Oh. All right. So initial skill. We have negotiation. We have jail smarts, positive abilities, negative effects, uh, broadcast journal, undercover journalist, war corresponding. So we can check, we can actually select our experience here. Um, this is interesting, very interesting indeed. Uh, you know, craftsman perception if we're undercover. If we are a war correspondent, we can have medical, brawler and things like that. I'm gonna go pretty basic and go mainly like the default of everything here. Uh, negotiate, increase the rapport gained when trading uh, with prisoners and then intelligence plus one with jail smarts. Uh, that's gonna be us, a broadcast journal journalist positive abilities when performing chat actions have stamina consumption charisma plus one and then negative effects if you don't take a shower mind minus 10 when you wake up the next day interesting There's a lot of already kind of cool things to see from this right if it's the law of the jungle in this city then how are we any different from wild animals all right <laughs> All right, dear viewers, I am here at Lem Lemleg River near the Black's March Chemical Plant in Skid Row. Road. Not Skid Row, but Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. Very well. I'm one. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. My thoughts, this damn chemical plant uh, opened less than two years ago, and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have uh, dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. It's messed up. Just smell the stench. So many kids are sick, they can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. And have you informed the authorities, such as an environmental protection agency, you know, EPA <laughs> or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard that the mayor's nephew has share has shares in the plant. The bastards all in all the, the bastards are all in on it together. Well, you know, I guess you know money and greed and all that and all the above. Of course, right? All right. It's like acid rain could be pouring through, right? <laughs> I don't know. They see us poor people in Skid Road as less than nothing. Hmm. Viewers, is this tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage, and is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? We'll continue to investigate the storage, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. I'm Thomas the Fox, Woodpecker TV, reporting live from... Angelo. Excellent interview. Your reputation is well-deserved. I'm sure you didn't ask me here 
just to uh, catch or watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election is just around the corner. He's seeking re-election, and he has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser? Oh, that's just baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. But let's get back to the point, right? Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in this plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of the fact and no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to actually misunderstand the situation completely. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. Hmm. I'll find out the truth. Yeah, we'll find out the truth. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's one more, uh, one more to life than work for me. Or there's more to life than work for me. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Hmm. And no friends to speak of other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up the mess after all. After all. Hmm. So you've closely, uh, you've cl <laughs> you've clearly done, you've clearly done your research on me. You'd make a pretty good journalist yourself. No, no, no. We'll do the research. Well, you flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. Of course, we both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles the briefcase. Sorry, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, oh, I see money. I see you have like a uh, what looks to be a, as a bodyguard, potential like gorilla here. What's this? Are you trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as TV reporter. <laughs> Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So will you join us or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. I would like to decline and stay pure. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. Oh, how unfortunate. You gonna kill us? <laughs> Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, uh, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats? Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? No way. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a ma major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. Well, I'm glad to hear that, I guess. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. It's this guy, dude. He's a... He, he, I'm assuming he's like a wolf. Angelo the wolf. <laughs> You will regret your foolishness. He's not a nice, he's not a nice wolf now, is he? All right, look at that, man, look at the art. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, look at these dogs, they just pop out. I'm Sergeant Norman, this is my precinct. Is this your car? Uh, yes, is there a problem here, officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Ah, uh, Angelo. Angelo called us dirty, right? It's like a Doberman with a beagle and a Boston Terrier. Kyle, check up front. Any dogs that have actual real human names? Is that, I mean, that's hilarious, right? Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunky trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some kind of mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. Let me guess. They're going to plant something here? Huh? Or did Angelo plant something in here? Sarge, I found it. Uh, he was hiding something. And it looks like grade aid stuff. Wait, I don't know anything about that. This is a setup. The guy in the cafe must have... Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. All right, Doberman. Interesting. There he is in the window. What a great day. This calls for another drink. Dirty. Dirty. Angelo's dirty. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Today, uh, 
Tom, well, actually, which way should I read? I should read over here. The investigation into the contamination of Lemleg River has finally brought the truth to light. The investigation team jointly formed by City Hall and the EPA issued a statement which read, The incident caused by a temporary worker who was drunk on the job, he accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted into a minor contamination. The temporary worker is a question at question has been fired. The investigation team has also been allegated uh, allocated the Black's Marsh chemical plant additional funds to assist it in its cleanup activities in an effort to return a clear river to the public. Today, Thomas the Fox, the prominent reporter for Woodpecker TV, was sentenced to three years in prison and fined $50,000 for possession of illegal substance. He will serve his sentence at Boulderton Prison. Sources stated he is also suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating fake news stories. Among other violations, in the words of one city resident, I'm very disappointed in him. I no longer believe any of his past reports. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> that's very terrible. There goes our career in journalism. Boulderton Prison Cell Block A. 21 days until mayoral election. Oh my god. Look at the hippo. Got a tiger. Got a rhino. Got a, what the heck is that? A deer? An elk? A giraffe? A panda? Stand attention. Listen good, fish. This is Bruce. <laughs> hey, Bruce. From now on, you are inmate 121. One, no, sorry, 1220. Got it. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I said I understand. Good. Now get your ass to the cell three. Make it snappy. There's a koala in there, too. Here it is, fish. Your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Headcount is in the lobby at 8. You better not be late. <laughs> now get out of my sight. Who do we share a room with? Is that a horse? No, it's a donkey. <laughs> Alright. Phew, that guy talks a lot. But now is not the time to waste energy in getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction, and I still haven't met with Reed, my lawyer. I don't know how the appeal is pro progressing, but I need to contact him ASAP. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. Okay, so we got to figure out how to... Wow, look at this UI. How incredible is this? My, I'm, like, covering some a little bit of health and, like, sanity and stuff like that, I will say. Um, I, I don't want to put myself there. I think I'd be a very big distraction. But uh, for, like, demo reasons, I'll, you know what? I could put myself above it. How about that? There we go. Okay. So... Yeah, by the way, UI looks good. Monday, sell, 7 a.m., head count. Uh, time is at 7.45. We have $50. Seems to be stamina, focus, uh, survival, which is funny. So survival, body, if your body falls below 30, it triggers weak body. Mind. So mind, if your mind falls below 30, it triggers weak mind. Interesting. Whoa, that was loud. Quest, ask your cellmate how to con contact the outside. Excuse me. So we have character stuff. Oh, wow. Wow, look how deep this is. Reputation, work, money, gang affiliation, rank affiliation, sell, served, skills. My lord, that is loud every time it clicks over. Uh, skill tree, which is cool. Looks like you have combat, creativity, wisdom, and knowledge. Quests, gangs, <laughs> Bigfoot gang, sharp tooth gang, black claw gang. Did I say gang? Gang. Hey, we're actually favored by the Sharp Tooth Gang. Sharp Tooth Gang is a group of thieves who control the prison's basketball court and TV room. To them, everything is a potential prey. Interesting. Cool. And then relationships with all different kinds of inmates, it looks like. <laughs> very good, very good. Elephant, his name is Jumbo. Okay, all right, let's talk to our, our cellmate here. So, hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Whatever a donkey makes, that one sound, right? Oh, hi, I'm Sam. I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm saying my nickname's Ratchet, though. I was a mechanic on the outside. You were a mechanic donkey? I would love to see that. Well, uh, I'm a journalist. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Well, he's happy about that, I guess. Hm. All right. Ask how to contact the outside. Sam, is there any way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter, like me. Or, if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after the headcount, but there's usually a line. Hmm. A phone? That's great news. I'll call after headcount. Alright, very good. 
All right, so now time is going to start to progress. The price of justice. So what do we have here? What is this? This table looks older than me, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I could use it as a simple workbench. Oh, that'd be cool. Craft, write, no pen or pencil, plant. So if we do get a pen and pencil, we can actually maybe write a, a write a letter. What if we can, what can we craft? Cloth, a lock pick, paper crane, glass shank, and a toothbrush shank. Very good. Awesome, that's good to see. What's here? A toilet seat combo, it looks quite advanced. I hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked up. What's in here? Storage cupboard, looks like I have my own space. All right. Who has the top and who has the bottom bunk? There seems to be a piece of paper on top. Hmm. The prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Oh, well, that was good. Check that. So, okay, so cupboards. We can look at the schedule and we can organize our items, which I mean is, yeah, probably putting stuff in here, right? These are things that we have in our pocket, I guess, right? We have a caramel bar, one sanity plus five, uh, plus one sanity plus five mind. Food, one sanity. Charisma, last two hours if we chew in gum. Apparently, people that chew gum, they get a higher charisma. Demo paper paper crane. Okay. And then a coin. Can't be used to dissemble. Points plus two when dissembling. Oh, okay. Let's look at the schedule. Prison schedule. 8 a.m. Morning head count. All inmates must line up in the lobby on the first floor of the main building. And then lateness will be uh, severely punished. At 12 is lunchtime. 1300 is uh, recreation. 1730 is dinner. 1800 uh, bathrooms. And 2200 lockdown. Very good. All right. Well, can I go out of my cell? No. Okay. All right. Um, continue. <laughs> continue, I guess. Leave the cell and go to the go to the lobby count. Oh, so we do have to leave the cell, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Should I go for head count? Absolutely, yes. All right, there we go. Look at that. There's a tortoise. That tortoise looks mean. Looks like I made it in time. Attention. Is this the captain, Captain Bruce? Hey! The head count's starting. Get in line. Billy the... Okay, Billy the dog. Uh, counts heads. One, two, three. Hmm. That's 44 of 47. Three inmates are actually absent. Two in the firmary and one in segregation. That is all. Listen up. Today is the first of the month, which means some more dipshit... Dipshits have joined us. I'll warn you now. Do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain. I will show you no mercy. Now, let's get down to the business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. Today's announcement to enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep. The prison offers work assignments. There's still vacancies in the laundry room for now. So any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. Hmm. Not interested. We want higher wages. Okay, let's let's calm down here. Let's not, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be your slave. I want to go to the kitchen. Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to you to you whining. Dismiss. All right. I mean, the first thing we want... Is that a corgi down here? That looks like a corgi. <laughs> first thing we want to do is, like, get in line for the phone, yeah? Oh, there's the phone down there. Prison work. I, I do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. But the top priority right now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Okay, we'll wait for this gentleman to get done. This is Rudolph. He's a freaking reindeer. Come on, it's been so long. Did you show my uh, script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? My entire comeback is writing on it. Seriously, can you just like get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom. <laughs> Rudolph of the reindeer? Why is Rudolph in prison? What did he do? Guard surveillance. So there are prison guards watching you here. Be smart and don't cause any trouble. Okay. Like, I assume we just wait here, right, until this is done. Do we get a skill level up? Yeah. Do we have skill points? Ah, wisdom. We have we have skills in wisdom. Jail. Okay, that's what we start out with. Wonderful. Um, <clears throat> negotiated. We have that skill activated. And we have jail smarts. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, I see. A hundred. We have five. 
but you need 100 to get like charmer uh, bravado and bribes and salesman understood look at old old lee vladimir the polar bear oh my lord teddy that looks like to be a weasel i love the names hakuna 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 is the name of the warthog come on now let's see here there's something faded you got the price of justice quest hang on so what quest do i have let's see here give your lawyer read a call main building lobby main building lobby is this the lobby i don't know if this is considered the lobby i guess we could like explore a little bit yeah since this guy's on his thing doing his thing prison schedule fantastic let's see here what's this way go okay that's back into the cell block that's not where we want to go this must be the lobby then yeah this must be the main lobby what's this guy's name jimmy the giraffe gray the gecko noodle the raccoon it's this way probably another cell block yeah another cell block Dude, there's some crazy stuff happening over there <laughs> what about upstairs what do you think is upstairs yeah what is this who is this tony the camel upstairs ah so up there camera there are cameras here your every move is being watched understood you guys have a phone up here we saw a phone downstairs, but I, I'm just trying to look for a phone that's not occupied. Oh, wow, look at that. I feel like I'm the I'm the fox from Zootopia. Jason Bateman. Okay, let's not go in there. I don't know his name. I forgot his name in the movie. All right. What's there? Can I have a nice cup of coffee? A drinking fountain? This is a cup of coffee. I never thought there'd be anything free in this place. I could really use a cup of coffee. Did I grab that? Yeah, drink hot. <laughs> drink hot water. Okay. It gave us health. <laughs> oh, wait, can we go up higher? The door's locked. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. I, I mean, I guess we just wait for this gentleman to get done with his uh, Rudolph the Red Nose freaking reindeer, you know, call him out here. Unless we could talk to him and be like, hey, get the hell off the phone. He's on the phone. Ah. Persuade him to leave or pay him to go. Let's persuade him to leave. Hi, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you, like, let me use the phone first? Ah, success. Target was seven. I guess if we get higher than seven, then it's a success. I love that little mechanic there. That was really good. Fine, I was finished anyways. All right. All right, let's, let's call up. Let's make a call. Enter 1220 pound. That's our inmate number. Connecting. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two more calls today. You will be charged $10 per call. A $90 service charge will be added for your first call. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. It seems this place is more shady than I thought. Insert $100. I don't have that much money. All right. Well, then. We need to get $100 as quick as possible. Well, in that case, probably get a job, right? At attention. What is it? Ask about work. What? You want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. And I have some good news. Right now, you can apply to work in the laundry room without good conduct conduct credits this is a special privilege for new fish like you if you're interested come and fill out the form oh work on the roof site that's under construction work in the guards room that's under construction yeah yeah work in the laundry room apply your application is approved from now on you'll be working in the laundry room it's a great job fish you'll love it hmm. so how do i get there simple you see this uh, fence gate? I'm assuming this one. Uh, go out from there before lunch and, guard, and a guard will take you to your workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try any funny business. The, worker air, the worker's area watched by snipers on the tower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? I guess not. Okay. Let's go to work. Yeah, go to the laundry room and go to work. You want to work inmate 1220? Absolutely. Yeah, my work request has been recruit, uh, approved. Hmm. You do have a work permit, but I can't find a health certificate for you. Health certificate? You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You have to pass before you can actually work. Do you understand that? I guess so. I guess I have to go to the infirmary first. All right. I'm assuming the infirmary is somewhere over here, maybe? Can I have another cup of coffee? Or a drink of hot water? No. Um, bathroom is being cleaned. Okay, so that's the bathroom. Where? What, what is this? What is this? Where does this go to? Bulletproof, bulletproof glass with a thick iron mesh. Talk about the ultimate security combination. Maybe I could talk to what's his face and be like, hey man, 
Where is the, uh, where's the infirmary? No. Maybe this takes me to infirmary? Yeah, okay, it does take me to infirmary. According to the regulations, all new inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical. Inmate 1220, do you want to go now? Yes, I want to go for a physical. The guard at the end of the corridor will us escort you on behalf, beha or behave yourself. I don't know why I'm having a hard time speaking today. Apologize. Might because I'm a little tired. That's all right. You here for a physical? I, I, yeah, I am here for a physical. The doc's in the consolation room. You can go in and by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. Hello, Doc. Uh, that's not Doc. That's Fernando. <laughs> Hello, Fernando. Uh, read the sign first. Consolation room. Okay, examine the lock. This is an electric lock. You'll need to know the code to open the door. Okay, let's just call him. An intercom. It seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. You have to make an appointment? Hey! Answers the intercom. Hello, how can I help you? I'm here for a physical. A physical? Oh, all right, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo, you undergo a brief physical in the consolation room. Hi, I'm Beth from the records. I see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all of the inmates' alignments, uh, big and small. Every day, I leave at 17.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. <laughs> she doesn't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, the guard brand will administer, uh, administer you drip, your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. Okay, let's take a look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations. You have a big one. There's nothing major wrong with you. Oh, well, that's wonderful. But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help you protect against most of the infectious diseases in here. Wait here. I'll just get into the pharmacy. Get in from the pharmacy. Okay. I'm the only one here. Ooh. First de decision. Do we get spicy? And check to see? This isn't a good time to take what's on the tray. Yeah, but this is a good time to maybe snooze around over here. There might be some useful information on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get into it, my man. There you go. Oh, her desktop is such a mess. 72% uh, set chance to uh, search the computer. Yeah, let's do it. hey -o. Great job. There seems to be something in this folder. Browse the medical records. Check the emails. Um, emails. Oh my lord. <laughs> um, sent to Lily, Lil, Lil, Lily. We'll say Lily. Hi, Lily. Toby and I had another fight, but it seems to be <laughs> be for real this time. I don't know what pissed him off, but after the movie, uh, he just snapped on me. The next morning, he moved out of the apartment without saying a word. I know you two get on well, so if he comes to see you, please give him a message for me. Good riddance, asshole. I knew you two were screwing behind my back. Do you think I'm stupid? If you're bored with me, then just end it. I won't give you a second thought. That was the message. Thank you. Well, I didn't see that coming. I, 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 yeah. Aunt Mel. Aunt Mel, thank you for the cookies you sent last week. They were great. Sorry, I haven't been to visit, but uh, I've been really down lately. You know, I just broke up with Toby. I was very dependent on him. After all, we'd been together on and off since college. I even used his birthday as the code for my uh, consolation room. <gasps> if we found out what Toby's birthday was, we could figure out the code for the consolation room. But I'm taking things one step at a time. I've changed the code to my birthday now. Okay, if we can find out the birthday of her, we can figure out... <laughs> The code for the consolation room. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get over uh, him for good. I'll definitely come around for dinner in a few days. Please, don't worry about me. Lots of love, Beth. Hmm. So, the consolation room code is her birthday. Swan Island Registration. Thank you for registra uh, registering with Swan Island. We have millions of quality singles, so you're bond to find the one. So she signed up for a dating website. Please visit our website and complete your profile so that we can match you with your perfect partner. Today, 57 users have liked your temporary profile. <laughs> Become a basic member now to view the private messages they sent you. Swan Island, your guide on the road to happiness. 
I guess she can't just stand being by her, by herself. Payo Hub, an inbox from Payo Hub. This is a little, little spicy, interesting thing going on here, right? Congratulations on purchasing a one year Payo Hub membership, giving you thousands of amazing videos at your fingertips. Your most frequently watched adult category has just been updated with 126 new videos. Go ahead and check them out. Now, for a limited time only, sign in for seven days to get 10 free hearts. So what are you waiting for? Go reward your favorite video stars. We've also launched our HD video channel upgrade to the super memberships now to watch it for free. That's a little naughty. Beth, how dare you? Hmm, I never thought she'd be into the same category as me. <laughs> okay, check the, oh no, not check the emails. Let's go ahead and browse the medical records. So, Tim the Sloth. I guess these are the people that are in right now. Tim the Sloth, chronic skin condition, not contagious, requires injections. Jimmy the Giraffe, hypertension with mild complications. Kevin the Koala, uh, hypersomnia, uh, hyperso sorry, genetic. Uh, Diego the Alpaca, type 1 diabetes, and Bob the Panther. Hey, there's Bob the Panther right there. The other playable character, I guess. Cool, kidney stones, that sucks. I'm sorry, Bob. Okay, it seems that patients come into the infirmary regularly. Okay, we can just learn her, like, Learn her name, or not learn her name, learn her birthday, will be good. Okay, let's wait for her now. Are you ready for your shot? Um, give a gift? I have something to say. Let's have a little bit of small talk. Declare your feelings to her? Oh my lord. This game is going to be pretty cool when it comes out, huh? Sure, if, you, if it will help you relax. Did you know that the prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to inmates? Hmm. So why are you talking to me? Because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried not speaking to anyone for a whole day? I sometimes wonder who the real prison is, prisoner is. So why are you a prison doctor? I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her even stupider father. Family trouble? Let's leave it at that for now. All right, sick. Build up rapport up with Beth. Okay, here goes. Give a gift. Oh, do, do you want to give me something? Yes, yes, yes. I would love <laughs> to give you a cookie. Um, I appreciate the thought. So you could actually see, I, I don't, that was very fast, right? What I did there. But you can actually see that you can discover stuff that they like and what they don't like, which is kind of cool, right? It, it, I, I find it kind of cool. Kind of get a little bit of like, I hate to say Stardew Valley. I'm not trying to compare the game to that, but you can learn what these people like and what they don't like. So get the shot now. Stop shaking or I won't be able to find a vein. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consolation room. Very well. Plus five HP. That's yeah, good for us, right? All right, so we got our physical done. Let's get the hell out of here. Sir, inmate 1220 requesting to return to general population, please. And then let's go to work. Hmm. Now that your work permit and health certificate are in order, you can work. Yeah, damn right I can. So let me go to work. Okay, is the is this the laundry room? The washing machine is so loud. Well, I mean, if you hear a washing machine, then yeah, this is probably the, the laundry room. Let's see what work I can do. Who are you? Taylor? Robert? Bernard? Crunchy the... the, the crocodile probably right <laughs> um miguel what is going on here maybe i talk to this guy let's see let's talk to this guy he looks like he's in charge is that a was i can smell a wuss i can smell uh persuade him to leave oh all right let's not do that let's see here probably like get into the iron game an ironing board looks like this is a job in the laundry room what exactly am i supposed to do you're supposed to iron the clothes my good man there might be some instructions on the wall. <clears throat> I'll take a look. You don't know how to iron clothes? I have to really find instructions on the wall on how to iron clothes? Are you kidding me? This works makes my back sore. What is your name? Bob? Don't even get me started with Bob. Bam. I'm, I'm assuming Bam the Bobcat right there, right? Can I go in here? Detergent, detergent mixing room. Okay, detergent mixing room. Where, where is this sign that you say on the wall? My, oh, is this over? No, these are the, these have to be the dryers or something. What are you talking about? I should find the work instructions first. Are you kidding me? Here, let's talk to this guy. 
Uh, Bernard, don't get too close to me. Befriend. Let's talk to him. Let's try to befriend this guy named Bernard. Hey, uh, what are you looking at? I'm just wandering around, wandering around. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, sorry. I'm just a little on edge right now. Why? Have you pissed someone off? I'm a former detective, so yeah, you could probably say that. I caught a lot of bad guys in my time. More than a few of them are in here, actually. And if I was any less cautious, I might have been taken out a long time ago. It sounds terrible. How did you, how did the de detective end up in prison? Or were you framed? I don't want to talk about this right now. Maybe I'll tell you if I get a chance later. So you've befriended Bernard, the capybara. <laughs> His rapport will help you. Awesome. Nice. Uh, this highly cautious capybara was a police detective before he was incarcerated, which has to be the most unpopular profession in this place. He caught quite a few bad guys, quite a few bad guys at this time, some of whom are locked up in prison. As for now, or as for how he ended up inside, he does not really like to talk about it. Okay. What about you, Robert? Hey, the last quarter earnings arrived this morning. You should have made a lot, a lot of this time. A lot of this time? Is that what he said? Uh, really, that's great. I was worried I wouldn't have any money to buy any new games. But I owe you an apology. I thought you might be lying before. Fine, it's fine. I let the money speak for me. But I wouldn't spend the money on games if I were you. I'd strike while the iron is hot and reinvest the money. Wouldn't you want to have a nice little nest egg ready for when you get out? Pretty good conversation, I guess. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy, Miguel. Relax, take your time. Let's befriend him. Your nose looks a little strange, friend. Watch my nose swing from side to side. Relax. Three, two, one, sleep. What the hell are you doing? How, how, are, how are you still awake? Didn't my hypnosis work? <laughs> Under his breath. Which step went wrong? Did I swing my nose too slowly? Hypnosis, did you try to hypnotize me? Well, uh, could be a super dreamer. He will be make an excellent subject. <laughs> Please lie down here. I want to try again using reverse hypnosis. This guy is definitely not normal. I better steer well clear of him. Uh, you've preferred him Miguel, uh, the tapir, right? Tapir, ta tapir, tapir, tapir. What about this gentleman here, Bob? What do you want? Um, can I persuade you to leave? If I persuade him to leave, why would that be a matter? Can I befriend you? Hey, buddy, you haven't seen a wolf around here, have you? A gray one? I don't think so. His name's uh, Fenrir. Fenrir? He owes me money, a lot of money. I heard he's in the joint. No one's seen him. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of him. He must be hiding from you? If you help me find him, I'll share the money with you. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open. So I befriended the Bob, the Black Panther. Oh, it's the Black Panther. Hey, there you are. And then bam, I'm assuming the Bobcat or the cat. <laughs> Shush, you're just in time. I don't have enough focus points. Okay, so focus points, very very interesting. So focus points right here. That helps me uh, talk to more people, I see. All right, okay. What is this? This machine is taller than me, but it's tiny compared to everything else here. There are wheels on the bottom. It must have been moved here. Can I move it to the side? Yeah, move the machine. I hope I can push it. Yeah! There we go. There's the sign stuff right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. This sure isn't easy. All right. Ironing board instructions. So there we go. I don't think I have to read this, but it's always here in case I see, in case I see, in case I need it. So now we should be able to do our job, right? So start our job now get to work one piece is <laughs> Piece one is underpants. The ironing time is eight minutes. Oh crap, dude. Oh crap Okay, so as the work instructions say the job is really simple You just have to count left click to start uh, ironing and the count in your head uh, When you think it's time left click again to stop ironing you can use the meter at the bottom of the screen for reference Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I know what the hell is going on. Okay uh these two pants the ironing time is 10 minutes ah i see i see start 
So those must be minutes. And then what, you have to like guess or something? Because I can't pull that up. But hey, look, I hit 10. Yeah, I was 19 seconds over. But I guess that's good. I must have been a minute and two seconds over on the last pair. Piece three, underpants, ironing is eight minutes. Okay. I'm assuming that's how it works. Thirty seconds under. Okay, all right. I, I think I did it. That's all three done. I wonder how much I'll be paid. So O, oh, fourteen dollars. Star twenty dollars. Star twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we get it close, fifty-four dollars in total. That's an interesting way for to do a little mini game there. Yeah. Yeah. That's enough for now. How much money is that altogether? Can we actually see. Oh, 104. So we have enough for the. Uh, we have enough for the payphone so we can quickly get back to the payphone before lunchtime and we can get that going on yeah 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 let's call him hello inmate one two two zero you can make two calls today insert the hundred dollars connected Whew. looks like it worked they confiscated my business card holder but luckily i memorized reed's office number of course there's always another number i can't forget maggie's who should i call the law firm Right? Battletone reads law. You're reliable uh, litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally, I was worried something bad had happened. And it's not that easy to call from here. So, how are things going with the case? Oh, I was just about to tell you. The appeal fell through, actually. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal. But as you know, the mayor election is in 21 days. Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. Damn those sons of bitches. <laughs> but don't lose heart. I have some good news. Good news? Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? I remember it was a woman. She said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information, though. I know you've fallen for it a few times and gotten screwed out of it, out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called, uh, Barones? Hmm, what about it? My investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connection with the mayor, but I can't explain properly over the phone. We need to meet in person. Only you may have to wait a few days. Okay, only you may, may have to wait a few days. The prison said there are so many visits requests that all the slots are filled right now. And even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Hmm. Let's just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass the waiting list? Might be worth a try. What else do I have to do, right? Then we'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make sure you you uh, be careful in there. Disconnected. That was a hundred dollar call. I'm still with a shot of getting with. I'm still in, sh in. I'm still in with a shot of getting evidence of their crimes. This is no time to go down without a fight. So, now I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. And I'm assuming we talk maybe with this guy? Out of detention, what is it? Ask about visitation. Huh? You have a question about visitation? I heard that all the visitation slots are full. And even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Hmm, lawyers? I tell you. Even if the father of the forest himself came down from the sky, he'd have to wait like everybody else. Hmm. Last month... Some son of a bitch injured the guard, escorting him during visitation. But now security in visitation has been doubled. Naturally, we've had to reduce the number of visit rooms. That seems like a, too much of a coincidence. <laughs> but I really need to see my lawyer. Is there any way to bypass the waiting list? Of course there is. But my help comes with conditions attached. Conditions? Do you know that there are three gangs in this prison? One of them is Caesar's, Caesar the Chimps Black Claw Gang? I need you to go into this into his cell. There should be a backup ledger there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of visitation for you. A ledger? What do you need for that? Don't ask so many questions. It's not your concern. You just have to answer. Will you do it or not? Does he want to use me as a pawn? But I have no other choice right now, right? I need I need him so I can see uh, Reed as soon as possible. I'll do it. Great. Caesar is in cell B205. I'll be waiting. Very good. Hunger. It's lunchtime. I should probably go to the cafeteria. This place doesn't look too bad. I hope the taste doesn't disappoint. 
Interesting. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this let's look at. I don't wanna get too ahead of ourselves. Like, I don't wanna spoil it too much because I just wanted to get a little bit of a taste of this game. And I have to say, uh, I'm pretty impressed with how it is going right now. I do. I'm liking the storyline. I'm liking the, uh, the different things you have to do in this game. Um, I think this game is gonna have a lot of depth. I think this game will be very, very fun to play. I think this is gonna be a good game. Comes out next year, 2023. No exact release date other than the year. Hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Look At, because I sure as hell did. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to this game. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always. Take care.